Good afternoon, everyone. Um, a friend of mine, Judith, um, requested that I share a video on how this time has impacted me as a businesswoman, how it's impacted my business and how I have evolved or I continue to pivot during this time, um, particularly what I've learned during this lockdown period and um, our fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. So I've captured five things that um, really of how I've handled this period and this time. Um, the first one being that um, change has always been a part of us. Um, this kind of change obviously has been a bit of a huge shift. I can't even say a bit. It's been a huge shift um, in everything that we know from how we... Our children are educated, how we run businesses, um, everything just got merged together. We are running businesses while we are helping our children with homeschooling, while we are homemaking, while we are also servicing our clients and ensuring that we deliver where we can um, within the new framework of work. So for me, um, the, the number one lesson is and in, in accepting change, embracing change, and also learning to navigate change. Um, I'd obviously been able to do that in a few times in my life. Um, but this one, I think it throws everybody in the deep end at the same time without a warning and even seeing it coming. So the one thing that I've um, learned this time is worry is, is such a thief of um of, of productivity. Worry is a real waste of time and um, a waste of resources, resources such as creativity, resources such as innovation, resources such as um, reviewing obviously our strategies and knowing how best to work with what we have currently. The second one for me is that this time has given me and I think a whole lot of people, if not the entire world, time to stop and really just be calm and be mindful. It reminded me of the book in the now um, in that we will not probably go back to what what it used to be. Um, we don't know what the future is going to look like. Yes, there's going to be a lot of predictions. There's a lot we can learn from the shift we are already um, experiencing now, but it will never, ever be the same. And what this time has done for me is that it reminded me to um, know that I have the power within me to control me, to control my mind. Um, it reminded me to tap into um, the power that I have within um the thoughts that I, I, I think they do create, um, that the thoughts that I think can be negative or positive and really to guard my mind and, and keep them focused on the positive side of things so that I have the inspiration and the energy and the drive to go forward. On that, I often speak of the three powerful connections, but there's a fourth connectivity that um, has come into play. And it did come into play a few years ago, but it has just been um, enhanced right now. So the power to connect with yourself, the, the power of connecting with God, the power in connecting with others. And you've seen everybody um, rush to Zoom to connect with everyone, family members, um, all platforms that have video like WhatsApp are on the rise. And um, we are learning on Instagram. We are learning on, on all sorts of video platforms. So the fourth um, connectivity that I think is powerful right now, and if you were not riding this train um, of 4IR, is that the digital wave and the digital train just picks up speed every day. And I think then COVID-19 has really escalated that speed at another level. This is the time for everybody to wake up to 4IR, to wake up to digitizing their businesses um, and really ride the power of digital. So the third lesson for me is exactly that, that it's not going to slow down this digital train. Hop on and really learn to navigate doing business, doing school, doing retail, um, in the retail, in the digital space. And, and obviously that presents a lot of opportunities, which I've taken advantages of. I've taken advantage of, um, as a businesswoman in uh, marketing communications, in coaching, 
I've taken advantage of that in, in learning as well and just making sure that I can access universities, um, universities that are far off, like in the UK, that are offering free education courses right now um so that's the the future of of digital that's the the present of digital and the future of it um and so for me the the fourth thing that i've learned is that we constantly have to evaluate how we can add value with every change and every shift that we are going through and um, this saw me obviously creating on the Bloom Inside Out platform for women advocacy and women development, creating a brand, uh, your build your brand week that um, I hosted the entire week last last week. Also, just what it has done is, is, is it, it has enhanced the, the power of collaboration. On the fourth and the fifth day of Build Your Brand Week, I had experts who I've never worked with um, in face-to-face -face, um, as such in Bloom Inside Out, but I got to work with them on the digital space, hosting Zoom Lives, um, hosting Instagram Lives, and sharing what we know when it comes to building your brand for growth, when it comes to leveraging the power of uh, the social media platforms that everybody is using. So um, in adding value, in supporting others, in teaching, in helping, in serving, this time has really... Um, taught me that to say we can add value with everything that we know you can help someone who doesn't know that so the thought should be what do I know that can impact someone else's life positively during this time of lockdown the fifth and most powerful lesson is constantly learning to review re-strategize and relaunching and obviously we do a lot of that in marketing and advertising but this time it um it comes with a lot of opportunities because there's a shift in everything like i said in education in retail in communication in production i mean we've seen ads that are being shot with phones and they're really working um and ads are sus like ads that cost close to nothing compared to the millions that are being spent every day to create ads that we see on TV or social media. So take time right now to analyze how your industry is being imp impacted. And in that, you might just find that you unlock a new opportunity, a new division and a sector in your business that you had never even thought about. And this is the time where if we take time to do that review of strategies and um, and remodeling of our businesses, we can propel forward in the new in our new normal. Um, we can really leapfrog forward if we use this time for lockdown to revise our business models, um, to launch new platforms that allow us to navigate business in the digital space. So digitize, digitize, digitize. And um, very enjoy, very much enjoying the inward looking that the world is going through, the connectivity in all levels, so mental connectivity, emotional and spiritual connectivity, as well as digital connectivity. Here's to one world connected for the better um, world and a brighter world, a sustainable world, a world that we look out for each other and we support each other every day. Keep blooming, keep flourishing, and here's to unlocking our grandest power and our grandest potential to prosper. Thank you.